Hey, welcome back. Another great day to learn more and more about trigonometry. Um, I definitely am looking forward to sharing just another aspect of trigonometry with you and just putting together some pieces of the puzzle with you as I'm sure maybe some of you have already been putting together puzzles in this quarantine time. Um, we're going to piece together just one more piece of the masterpiece of creation and design and perfection that God has given to us um, in the world of math. So let's dive in. We're going to find angle measures. So last lesson we found side measures. Today we're going to find angle measures of <clears throat> a triangle. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here using trigonometry to find triangle angle measures. Don't say that too much. You might trip yourself up. Um, so you're going to notice a lot of similarities between this and the previous lesson. Some of the same principles go right into this. Um, those relationships in the triangle, those trig ratios play into this heavily. So you need to be familiar with them. That's why I had a quiz over just, uh, that's why we, we included that material last week. So I want you to be so familiar with it that you're able to um, go backwards and forwards with this stuff. You've got to be able to find sides, angles, um, you know, make sure you know that trig ratio and which relationship to use. So this is what we're looking at. If there's a little bit of crossover from the last lesson, that's okay. Um, you know, repetition is always good for this. So we've got here a triangle with a side of 12, a side of 3, and a theta. Let's see again. What have they given us? Okay. Side with 3. We've got an unknown angle now, though. There's no given angle. I mean, this is the angle we're talking about, angle theta. Okay, this is what they want us to solve, theta. We've got an angle, a side opposite that, a side adjacent. We don't know the hypotenuse. So we've got opposite and adjacent. All right. Again, you know, um, you know what to do from here with opposite and adjacent. I'm just reassuring you guys, this knowledge is so p powerful. It is empowering. Like, you guys can do this. I believe in you. Even through this screen, this is me reaching out to you. Like, you can do this, okay? I promise if I could, you know, lay hands on you, I'd bless you. But you guys are blessed, okay? You've got the power to do this. Okay, so we have opposite and adjacent sides in a right triangle. Again, what ratio does this go with? I like to use Sakatoa, Soha Kaha Toa. We got Toa, tangent, opposite over adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, okay? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So remember those. Go over and over in your mind. Sakatoa, Soha Kaha Toa, however you can remember it. Make sure you remember it. Okay? So I like to use tan in my examples, tangent, because tangent gets overlooked, I feel like, in the rest of trigonometry. It is important, but, you know, um, sine and cosine end up kind of taking the spotlight away. So I like to give it a little spotlight here in early trigonometry. All right? So if we've got tangent, is opposite over adjacent, we can say this. Tangent of theta is 12 over 3. We get that ratio set. Remember that ratio is important. Important. That's why we, like I said, we want to know how to find those ratios. The tangent of theta is 12 over 3. Okay, can we solve this equation? Is this solvable? I mean, you could, um, but it, it gets a little bit tricky here. And, and I'm going to spare you some of the math gymnastics that you would have to do to solve this to give you kind of an easy, I wouldn't call it a workaround, but I would call it a, a process, okay? When you get to this ratio and you have a trig function here of theta equals, and you've got your trig ratio set up, okay? I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So tangent of theta equals 12 over 3. 
you would actually use, and we call this the reciprocal, okay? It's the reciprocal, the inverse, um, you know, tangent, the inverse of tangent. So it actually has um, a, a specific name that maybe whenever you put it into your calculator or you use Google Calculator, you might see it pop up as this. Um, it says arc tan or arc tangent. Okay, it's just the opposite of tangent. It's the, the reciprocal form. It's the tangent to the power of negative one. Okay, so a little bit different. All you need to know is that you can put this into your calculator. You can actually just solve this using your calculator. When you come up and you're trying to find an angle measure, we use the reciprocal form in order to um, find this. Use that invert of tangent and we can find this. So if we do the inverse of tangent, 12 divided by three equals you're going to get 76.0 if you're in degree mode make sure you're in degree mode okay i'm going to i'm going to just um scroll over here i'm going to see if i can adjust this all right i know this is maybe a little bit strange i don't normally do this so let's see if this works i'm going to show you guys um how you would enter this into google calculator okay so if you enter in, remember, degree mode, you enter in inverse. So a lot of you, it's going to be the second button. So you hit second on your calculator and then hit the same trigonometric function. Okay. Second or inverse. And then you hit tangent. You see how it has tan with a little negative one exponent. Okay the inverse of tan see how it pulls up arc tan don't let it throw you off all right arc tan then we just put in the ratio 12 divided by 3 close that parentheses off and hit the equals button we get 75.96 which when we round that up we'll come back over here We've got 76. Okay, so see how easy that is? It's super easy. As long as you get that trig ratio right, you are doing really well. Okay, it's going to be super simple from that point. So let's see. Let's get a couple more going here. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of practice with these. So I put theta down here, and I've given you kind of the same triangle 12 and three. Obviously this is not drawn to scale. I mean you guys could have probably told that, but it's not drawn exactly to scale. It might make a little bit more sense if it were, but I'm just plugging in different numbers and giving you some examples. So could you solve for theta? Okay, how would you do it? Solve for theta here. All right, take a moment and see if you can do it. Follow the steps. Maybe rewind the video and get it right back to this point. Okay, Make sure you know how to do this. We know it's tangent because we have opposite and adjacent and no hypotenuse here. We don't know that one. We can use tangent. We could say tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So realize the trig ratio changes based on where the theta or where the unknown angle that you're trying to solve is. It's relational it relates to it that way so we do the inverse of tangent times 3 over 2 12 sorry and we get our answer of 14 degrees and that makes sense because the other side was 76 degrees right we determined that this angle with the same triangle set up was 76 degrees so that does track that this would be 14. See, pretty cool because those added together make 90 and 90 plus this 90 degree angle right here gives us a total of 180 degrees, which is the total number of degrees in a triangle. Okay, so maybe you remember that from geometry, maybe you don't. 
This works the same with all the trig functions, okay? Just that inverse of whatever trig function you're currently working with. All right, so let me give you a few and let's see if you can get them on your own, okay? So I've got theta up here, I've got three on this side and 12 as the hypotenuse. See if you can figure this out. Hopefully you paused and you were able to get it. Maybe you can pause if you see it, you know, now. Oh, I know I'm using sine, okay. Now pause and try to do it, okay. See if you can figure it out at any point. Pause and see if you can figure it out the rest of the way. Okay, we can say sine of theta because we have opposite, opposite of theta and the hypotenuse. So we do the inverse of sine, three over 12, hit the enter button, and we get 14.5 when we round up. All right, let me give you one more. Hey, okay, sorry for that little bit of choppiness there. I just wanna to fix something because I, like some people I know, also make mistakes. So I had to adjust something here. So we're gonna give you a different one and um, I'm gonna adjust, I adjusted this for the theta to be up here because this is the example that I've given you, okay? So if we've got theta here, tell me what do we have here? Opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, what do we have? We've got an adjacent side and we've got the hypotenuse side right here, okay? They're adjacent to the theta and hypotenuse of the triangle, always the hypotenuse. So which trig function goes with opposite and hypotenuse? Sokotoa, soha kaha toa. Okay, so we should have cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. See if you can figure it out from this point, okay? See if you can figure out that trig ratio, then put that in your calculator and get the answer for theta. Okay, so we can say cosine of theta is the trig ratio three over 12. So the inverse of cosine three over 12, hit enter, 75.5, 75.5. And again, that makes sense because we found, uh, you know, that in our previous problem, we had 14.5, 14.5. So, you know, just a, a pretty interesting relationship going on here. Uh, some different things that you're going to see as you work with these trig functions. And I'm going to give you guys a, a worksheet to do. Um, you know, you should have seen it already. You should be able to do everything in that worksheet at this point. Go ahead and give it a try. This will be a real test of your knowledge. Um, I've taught you everything I'm going to teach you really for this week. And we're going to do some assessment now. So I'm going to have you do the discussion and I need you to take the quiz. We've got a short week with Good Friday coming up. So this is it. This is what I, I planned on telling you guys. Again, we are un, unfurling, unraveling um, the mysteries of the universe of triangles, um, some amazing things that if you can get these building blocks of trigonometry right now, you are going to excel whenever you get to those other higher maths of pre-calculus, calculus, and statistics, okay? So, good work. Keep following along. Do that worksheet. I love you guys like crazy. Uh, I miss you guys so much. Enjoy the worksheet. Have questions, go ahead and ask them. Uh, I love you guys. Have a great day. Go and be blessed.